In this video, I'm going to see if I can give you a few ideas if you're working with an existing stairwell. Of course, this could be a common problem on a remodeling project. And of course, this will be dealing with stairs with landings, U-shaped stairwells, particularly U-shaped stairs. So let's go ahead and start with a particular dimension here. Um, stairs are going to be three foot wide with a three foot landing. And uh, this one here, let's just pretend like it was actually designed to fit. We have six steps below, one, two, three, four, five, six, up to a landing, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's just pretend like this set of stairs was designed to fit in this area, and uh, it would be fine. I'm not going to change the stairwell opening. I'm not going to change this unless I specify it to give you an idea of how far we're moving the stairs in. But let's go ahead and measure this one to give you an idea of what it's at. This is 8 foot 10 inches here. And hold on, let me give you an idea here. This should be 6 feet, what we're working with. Landing is 3 feet. We have 10 inch wide treads with no nosing on them. Now, one thing you can do if you um, are in a tighter space would be to switch the uh, top treads. Let's just say we had seven on the bottom or seven on the top last time and six on the bottom. You can actually switch it to pick up an extra 10 inches or to fit it into an area that's 10 more inches shorter by subtracting a tread from the top and adding it to the bottom. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven treads up to the landing, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Even though this is a step here, this is actually the same height as the floor. Uh, that didn't work out. Let's turn it here to give you an idea. Gonna make some noise here. You can see this is the same height as the floor. Let's go ahead and measure it, give you an idea what we're dealing with now. We're dealing with eight feet here. So this would shorten it by 10 inches. Let's go ahead and go to that side, give you an idea what it looks like there. Now I went ahead and removed another step, giving us five here at the top. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and then eight on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the only problem with this is headroom. Um, you can see here that, uh, let's go back to this here, we are now dealing with an area of seven foot two. Um, just to give you an idea here, seven foot two. So if this came all the way out to here on the on the next for the bottom stairway, we could actually hit our head on the floor. This will give you a better idea of what I'm talking about. I went ahead and moved it out here, the floor. Let's go ahead and go to the bottom. And as you can see here, since the stairway is starting to come out farther, that the headroom is going to get shorter. And here we'd be, we would be dealing with a five foot seven and, and a quarter, let's just say, um, headroom height. The headroom height measures from the top farthest point corner to the corner here, but this would actually go up at an angle. I have a video on that. I'm sure you can find it on um, for building codes for um, the headroom clearances and how, the, how they're actually measured for more information. So here's basically what I'm talking about. You could run into a problem if you start adding steps to the bottom to solve this problem up here. So again, the yeah, this is if you're working with an existing situation, if you are working with a, you're designing something, this right here is something you're going to need to consider. And it's something that I can't tell you how many times I come across it where uh, it might have been close on the building plans, but uh, it's not going to work in the field. So design, of course, is going to be essential if you are working from something new. But, but this video is geared more towards remodeling projects. 
here's another idea. You could always have this part of the floor come out and then this one back. And that, of course, is if it would work for your situation. Now, this is going to give you an idea of how you would actually measure the headroom head clearance. If you need six foot eight, which is what I believe it is, then this isn't going to work, especially if you're going to put carpeting or some type of other materials on top of the stairs. Remember, it's not measured from rough framing. It's measured from finished um, ceiling to finished um, tread or this space right here. And I, and, I, and I drew this to give you an idea. You're not going to measure from the bottom here. You're actually going to measure from the angle. The headroom clearance line goes straight up here, parallel to the bottom of the stringer here. That's what you're going to be measuring. A lot of people actually measure from here down to here, and uh, when it's close, they end up with uh, problems if, they're, if their project is being ran through a building department with building inspectors. Here's something that might uh, make a big difference, and that would be adding a step in the landing and then getting even treads here. We have six on the bottom and six on the top. One, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, five on the top and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the bottom. So this would actually work if you are dealing with a tighter space and you're not going to have a problem with your headroom clearance. So there it is, a step in the landing. Here's the last tip. You could install a set of winders, angled treads in the landing. And we have five treads on the top, five on the bottom, and then we have four in the landings. Go ahead and take a look at it here. There it is. Um, this might solve your problem if you're working with really tight areas. But uh, winder stairways usually require a little wider or a little longer um, and I should say a little longer um, stairwells to actually work. So if you're working with something like this and this is what you're going to do, you're just going to angle the steps to the corner. Um, it might not be approved by a local building inspector or meet local building codes. I do have a book on this. Make sure you check it out if you're going to do something like this. Um, visit the website, uh, click on the books tab, and it should take you right to it. Anyway, that's it for the video. I hope it helps. It was inspired by a viewer who was having some problems. And uh, hopefully uh, he can get something, get some sort of a value out of this and get his project done.